Good evening, everyone. I'll get started in just a minute. Tonight's story is Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Here we go. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. It's getting chilly out there. Make sure you bundle up. Don't let, oh, down, Mama. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. That means the author and the illustrator is the same person. There we go. Oh, good. It's you. Listen. It's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No? Hmm. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in this grand scheme of things? Uh, what? What? I'm not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh. I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's, in the, it's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, hey, the pigeon just won't go. Please. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to bunny, can you? This pigeon's trying really hard. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the yawn last of me yet. Great work. Thanks. Good night. Oh, look. He's dreaming about his hot dog party. The end. Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late by Mo Willems. Now, boys and girls, I know you may be getting ready for bed. Don't forget to brush your teeth, take your tubs or your showers. Every night you should be snuggling up with a good book. This is just one of many we've read. That's my puppy who's telling me it's time for bed, too. Remember, when mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, whoever tucks you in at night is trying to get you to go to bed, it's for your own good. So just like our pigeon friend here who made lots of excuses, in the end, he was very tired. Do you tell mom and dad and grandma and grandpa those things? Can I have a glass of water? I don't need that much sleep. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night. Boys and girls, your rest is very important. That's when you're growing while you're sleeping. I can't wait to see everyone this week. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining me for Snuggle Up Sundays. It was a short story, but that's okay. We'll have a new story for next week. Next week, Boys and girls, if there's ever a story that you like, your favorite story, and you want me to read it during Snuggle Up Sundays, just come see me in the office. And maybe if you have a copy of the book, I can borrow and read it to you online on Sundays, or I can find it in the library. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful evening. And remember, brush those teeth. Grab a book to snuggle up with every night. Good night.